for your listening pleasure, we have a real announcer. I'm, oh, <laughs> you're plenty real. I see you right in front of me. You're real. We also have, who I think is Brigham down for San Diego, as Lee Jammer right now. She slipped through the pack like nothing. And she appears to be the only jammer at the moment. Right. She's on a power jam, and there's a 4-2 pack advantage for San Diego. Uh, we're coming back after the first half where consistently we've seen uh, a lot of San Diego lead jammer, a lot of San Diego on the floor, and a lot of South Coast in the box. So I think if they can control their penalties, they can maybe bridge this gap just a little bit. And thank you for catching me up because I, I kind of came in halfway through. Yeah, exactly. So <laughs> I needed that. Beach needs to go skate for her team, so she left to go get ready to skate what or something. Ever. Lame. Fortunately, you've got the dulcet tones of Susie Skate Guys. Hi. So, South Coast Jammer is back in the pack and working her way through. And Brigham Down calls it as soon as she gets to the back of the pack. It's going to take me a minute to get used to things around here. (laughs) Absolutely. I have these wacky headphones and everything. (laughs) This is weird. We're in our own closed loop. Yes. We might as well be in a booth right now. Yeah. Darcy Smash number 77 is jamming for South Coast against Ice Pack number 32 from San Diego. Ice Packs. Ice Packs. I will be able to get this soon. Goody! We love Goody Two Skates. Goody Two Skates appearance! <laughs> Ice Packs. Right through the pack around number one. She is your lead jammer. Darcy Smash still trying to fight her way through. Wow, Lucky Eddie takes care of the San Diego girl and Ray. Here comes Darcy Smash, as long as... I think that's number one, yeah. Number one can keep her team out of the way. And Ice Pack calls off the jam just as Darcy Smash gets out. Wow. Looks like uh, San Diego's bringing a little bit of a head game in this half. Oh, that's a smart move for them. They have a nice, comfy lead to defend, so... Number 5150, Harry Carey, is on the line for South Coast. Current score of 140 to 13 in favor of San Diego Roller Derby Starlet. And Zebra Pants is on the line for San Diego for the first time this game. Number, is that 777? Uh, maybe. I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> We're going to find out as soon as she comes I around turn three. I apparently need new glasses. Come on, turn three. Oh, big pile up. 777 is just really fighting her way through the front. She's uh, past Rita Ville, but gets absorbed. But Harry oh. Carey gets out and gets lead jammer for South Coast. 777 is uh, sent to the box and tries to call the jam before they send her, but... You're not allowed to do that. No. <laughs> they said no. Power jam, South Coast. Harry Carey actually having a relatively easy time, although that last blocker in the front from San Diego holding her in and allowing additional blockers to recycle. But they were out of play, now she's out again. She's your lead jammer. She's your lead jammer, she's your only jammer, and this is a big opportunity wow. for South Coast. So here's something rare, too, in this game so far. Is we've got two San Diego skaters sitting in the box now. For the first time I've seen, I think, this entire game, Pack advantage to South Coast. Good job. And they're taking good advantage of it, controlling the pack speed. Harry Carey's already been through a couple times, working on a third. South Coast has a long way to go to catch up, but... Yeah, Starface is sitting in the box now, but we've still got a 3-2 pack advantage in favor of South Coast. Harry Carey gets through untouched and calls off the jam. Just as 777 Rascal for San Diego was starting to make it to the back of Well, after the whistles are blown, she and number two are exchanging blocks. <laughs> Is that number two or number eight? I think. No, number two. Number two. We all need new glasses. I know. <laughs> <laughs> we all need it. Can we get free eye checks at these games? That would be really nice. Yeah, forget the free massage and chiropractic. Oh, no, I can use Vision. an optical exam right now. Vision. There's a good ref joke in there somewhere. 
Dark yeah. Smash number 77 is on the line for South Coast. And I think that's Brigham Down number 1138 for San Diego. That looks about right. Darcy Smash makes it right around Rumble Pie, which is not easy to do, and she's out with lead. Brigham Down is about three feet behind her. And closing that gap with every stride. Two feet. Maybe one foot now. Oh, no, oh, she's down. Oh, no, turns herself down on the third turn. Second turn. Kelcat giving uh, Darcy Smash a whip that I'm not sure she needed. She skates through on the inside, almost completely unnoticed by Lazy Lady Diesel until it's too late, and that again is remarkable. I'm starting to wonder if maybe some of these uh, really super effective San Diego blockers are a little bit tired. They worked really hard in that first half, so that's Absolutely. quite possible that they might be running out of gas a little bit. Yeah. Again, lucky for them, they have a nice, comfortable lead. A very so. strange thing to see Lady Diesel miss somebody sneaking right past right. her like that. <laughs> Score of 140 to 32, still in favor of San Diego Roller Derby. Ice Packs, number 32, is skating for San Diego. And Wicked Angel, 1904 for South Park. No, unfortunately, both teams have a 1904. Oh, this, is, this is militia demolition. Why are you messing with me? We've had a couple of uh, 1904 against 1904 jams so uh, far this game. That is not fair. Wow, but they both broke the pack at exactly the same time with militia demolition. Just a hair ahead by a nose. She's your lead jammer. Right? She's still your lead jammer, she's but she's Clearly, no Jammer, but Ice Pax is about 10 feet in front of her, and instead of running down the time, Melissa just calls it right away. She is not interested in a mental game. <laughs> well, they are behind at this yeah. point, so clock management Get is probably a good it. idea for... Let's keep moving. Yeah. Harry Carey back on the line for South Coast, exchanging fist bumps with number 1904, Wicked Angel. Also known as Sparkle Pants. Sparkle, and they are sparkly. She's fantastic. It's fun to watch her skate, but also we love the Sparkle Pants. Yes. Harry I, like a, I like a good mix of flair and skill. Absolutely. I personally can appreciate that. <laughs> <laughs> Harry Carey, number 5150, taken to the inside immediately by... Uh, and Lucky Eddie holding back Sparkle Wicked Pie. Angel at the front of the pack. Lucky Eddie... Fearsome as the last skater to pass at the front, but she had to let her go easily. Sparkle Pants is through like nothing and lead jammer. What she lacks in size, she has in awesome maneuverability. Absolutely. That's what I like to watch. Lucky Eddie's amazing. Yeah. So is Harry Carey, who's yeah. out of the pack. And we have a really spread out pack right now. And again, a little bit too far ahead of the pack yeah. there. Sparkle Pants is through again. Harry Carey takes advantage of the spread out pack and just sort of slaloms her way through. Two on two in the pack right now. Whoa! Sparkle Pants 1904 takes down Pegasus on her way through the inside. Possible Sparkle Pant blinding oh, happening there. Oh, I believe we're about to see a power jam for South Coast here as Sparkle Pants races to the box. I like that you just call her that. She's got a beautiful sparkly yeah, butt. Really, really are. Harry Carey on her own, working her way through the pack once again. Gets hit to the inside and recycled all the way to the back. Oh, slips right through a nice hole that number one made for her at the front. She'll take five. Harry Carey's been having a nice couple of jams here. Absolutely. Lee Diesel and Rumble Pie at the front of that pack for San Diego. Uh, you know, there's a blue wall in the back getting ready to help their teammate. The jam ends. And, and lucky for Harry Carey because that was a scary wall. Yeah, right. <laughs> <laughs> That was a great jam for South Coast that South Coast needed. Yes, absolutely. Score currently 146. Yeah, that's a 45. <laughs> oh, and, oh, we got that right here. Yeah. Why am I looking at Busta's screen makes it easier. all well, the way over there? Because Busta gets the live update faster than we do. He sure does. <laughs> 146 to 45. Pack is away with Darcy Smash jamming alone in this power jam for South Coast. 
Sparkle Pants, number 1904. Uh, Angel for San Diego, still sitting in the box. Wow, we've got a lot of uh, falling and not yep. falling small out of number 777 yeah. on San Diego. Uh, Who I will now call Zebra Pants. <laughs> Zebra Pants. And number six uh, for San Diego going to the box. Sparkle Pants is sprung from the box and now working her way through the pack. And she's sprung as the South Coast Jammer sits the box. We've now got a full South Coast box. And it looked like Sparkle Pants almost had an opportunity to sneak through the inside, but she bounced off the South Coast blocker and went down herself. Making the most of this power jam, though. She's, uh, I think that's number one or number five. Yeah, number five, Rita Ville is at the front. Pretty much being a one-woman pack. And now she's in trouble because here comes Lucky Eddie. She's almost out of the pack, but now Lucky Eddie and Rita Ville are at the front, and that's almost impossible. Yeah. I mean, Rita Ville was handling her on her own Rita rather Ville, impressively. Rita Ville has been a one-woman pack all weekend. Yeah. She's really impressive, and apologies for the number of times I've called her number five instead of Rita Ville. Right. Names are hard. At least you're calling the right skater <laughs> from the right team. <laughs> Wicked Angel uh, takes her five and calls it. Spark Pants. Spark Pants. Have you noticed, too, that she has fabulous pink skates? I was too distracted by the sparkle pants. I you know, know but the, no, the style just yeah. keeps on going all the way down to her feet. It's good. I love it. I won Best Showmanship for my league last year, so I, I really like to look out for these You things. do understand, I then. I really do. <laughs> <laughs> oh, hi, camera. <laughs> I'm going to wave at the screen. It's, uh, I, told, I told them I was going to do this. No. I spent a whole time out <laughs> just doing this. Hi. I'm going to look at the screen, even though the camera's up here, like it's the Jumbotron at a sporting And making horrible grins. Like, yeah. And, uh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> That's really weird. <laughs> really making full use of this time out. I also have my morning beer, everybody. So Yay. this weekend's coverage of uh, Battle for the Coast from beautiful sunny Ventura, California, is actually made possible by viewers like you. It is the you, the DNN Me? viewer, like you. Oh yeah, guys. Um, it, it is the DNN viewer who is sponsoring our coverage this weekend, and we would like to say thank you, thank you so much for making all of this possible, Indeed. for making it possible for us to be here, for us to bring family and friends of these skaters from all over the world, and for coverage. continuing to make it possible for future tournaments. Absolutely. We need your support and we love you for it. Thank you so much for making events like this possible on DNN. And thanks to Mike Snake Eyes for making this beer possible for me. And so I'm going to go through this again just in case you missed it. If you weren't watching DNN yesterday, Miss Susie Snake Eyes, um, we were taught by the fabulous San Diego Derby Dolls yesterday that what number five is doing there on the line is not in fact a reverse poodle, but she's cougaring. Wait, what? She's cougaring. She's picking up minors. Oh. But up, bump. I love it. San Diego Derby Dolls for the win. But wait, what's a reverse poodle? Well, that's where she's standing behind the line to yeah. collect a minor was penalty that, so that she can get her. Did they use to, to the box. It, reverse poodle? it was called a reverse poodle, which a lot of people are really fond of. Do I have to look that up on Wikipedia to find out the <laughs> probably, actual. Probably, or the probably Urban Dictionary. <laughs> Urban Dictionary to find out the origin of that definition, but I like the cougaring better. I understand. Wonder Whoopum, number seven, is your lead jammer for San Diego. She's just sailed right through that pack. Uh, number 84 on San Diego, taking Darcy Smash, number 77 to the outside, with the help of Lady Diesel. There she goes, down again. Thanks to Lady Diesel on the inside. And Wonder Whoopum is through for five points. Darcy Smash just popping back up again and again on her feet, trying to make her way through. She slips past the San Diego blocker, but she's meeting Lady Diesel at the front. Takes a nice assist from her, and she's out. And number one, uh, Bloody Picka helped her get right past Lady Diesel. Uh, somebody out there in in the internet is uh, appreciating your breakfast beer. Oh yeah. <laughs> oh, and it's yeah. Annihilator would appreciate a breakfast beer. <laughs> <laughs> it's one yourself, darling. Are, are you one of the legendary founders of Team Haggard? I'm actually not. <laughs> I'm actually, as far as I know, I'm not on that team, but you never, I don't know if you're supposed to know if you're Can on I that team. Can I tell you a funny story about when I first started Roller Derby back in 2005? Yeah, and, you know, back in 2005, there were like, you know, less than 60 leagues in existence, yeah. and we were just starting out and, and hearing about our legendary big sisters in Roller Derby, and I remember... A friend of mine from Austin who happened to skate on the Cherry Bombs for uh, Texas came to visit us in Baltimore and came to coach us and skate with us. 
And all the legend that we heard was that uh, L.A. Derby dolls, not only were they amazing, fantastic skaters, but nobody can drink those girls under the table. Not even Texas. God damn, they can drink. We, at least in our origins, we were legendary party. <laughs> it, but it was, I mean, the, the first part of the story was always that you were good skaters. Yeah. But the second part of the story was no one can win an after party against LADD. And coming from Texas, that is a huge compliment. <laughs> Oh, Lucky Eddie Lucky going Eddie to the Finn bin. Starface is uh, making her way through the pack, but takes a fall on one of her own teammates, unfortunately. Looks like Brigham Down is not lead jammer, but has escaped the pack. Starface calls it. My issue with my breakfast beer is you have so much expensive looking equipment around here that I don't <laughs> care to put it down. We can move the mixer back right. a little. I'm just so scared. There you go. I appreciate Make room expensive beer. looking equipment. <laughs> Ice Packs number 32 is on the line for San Diego. And Morticia Demolisha, did I get it right this time? For South Coast. Yes. That is correct. Wow, Ice Pack's right around Pookie and number one at the front. I'm not sure why they let her go like that. They might have, uh, they were Maybe distracted by something in the back of the pack with their own they, jammer, but yeah. that's a wall that you should not be able to get around. But there again is Rumble Pie and Lady Diesel at the front, another impossible, impassable wall. And they're just holding Morticia back, cycling her to the back. Dirty Dave, I know what FTW used to mean. Morticia is out and on her own now as Ice Pack heads to the Sinbin. Only two blockers, or three, sorry, three blockers in the back. Wow, I need to glasses. Three blockers in the pack for uh, San Diego. Here comes Morticia, and somehow number 84 gets sent off. Lady Diesel takes a moment to look at that and see what's going on, and Morticia just gets right around her. And when Robin Upright got sent off, she had a little tantrum. She was none too pleased. Which allowed the jammer for South Coast to get past her on the outside. Let's see if she's watching. And now there's only two bloggers in the pack for San Diego. I've been waiting to say that. <laughs> yeah, Lady Diesel acts as concierge and <laughs> yeah. right Vanna, White, Vanna White's her through front me. <laughs> Allow me. Uh, South Coast just keeping San Diego completely separated and rendering them useless. And the jam ends right when Ice Packs gets released from the box. Carrie Carey, number 5150, is lining up for South Coast. So we now have exactly a 100 point game, 159 59. Currently on the line by herself. Timeout. Uh, looks like timeout San Diego. Why, thank you, Hurt Reynolds. Oh, Hurt Reynolds brought us water. But maybe instead of breakfast beer, you should be drinking water. It's it's his philosophy that they go hand in they hand, do. and that you've got to have one per in order to keep it the is hydration. A, it is a long day, <laughs> and it could be potentially dangerous if I stick with this breakfast beer plan into lunch beer and into mid afternoon snack beer, or maybe really really fun. It could be awesome. I like to think of myself as a two beer announcer. That's when I really hit my <laughs> stride. This is early. That's why I'm a little quiet right now. As long as you know the window. Yeah. I've been doing this a long time. I know exactly where it starts working. <laughs> One second more than 13 minutes left to play on the clock. Oh, and a score correction. It is now less than a 100-point game. 
see what happens when timeouts happen. Exactly. 159 to 64. South Coast is doing a really nice job of just building and adding points, adding points, closing the gap. They're having a really good second half. Unfortunately, it's happening now, but... <laughs> well, and, you know, I mean, there's time. There's, there's still time. time left in this game. You've got 13 minutes? Um, San Diego seems to be having a little bit more of the penalty troubles at this point. Yeah. They're looking and a little bit tired, or I'm not sure what to me, but... Their fatigue may be catching up to them at this yeah. point. And it's a little bit less aware, a little less on than they were in the first half. It behooves uh, South Coast to take advantage of this. And they are, skillfully. And, oh, Robin Upride was ejected for a fifth trip to the box. I see on the... I'm not sure that it's possible for Axles of Annihilation to play San Diego Roller Derby today just because I think they're in two different brackets. There's an A bracket today and a B what? bracket today. I, but uh, isn't Axel's Annihilation in the A bracket? Right. Uh, they're a B team for Rose City, but they're in the A bracket. So I think what right, happened, but this is the B bracket we're watching now. We're watching the, the first B bracket game. I think what happens is LA plays the Wildfires, and Axel's of Annihilation plays the C, and the winners of both of those games will go play each other. And for the is there really a final game? where the, I, I, believe so. I just thought that like four goes in, one comes out, and there's an A winner and a B winner. I think it is an A winner and a B winner. I, I'd have to look at the schedule. <laughs> if We're, anyone else, if anyone out there knows what's We're happening. not the best at tournament structure, but I'm pretty I sure. Thought, I looked at the schedule a bunch of times because I was hoping there would yeah. be an update on who was playing. Right. <laughs> but uh, I thought there would be a championship game for A and a championship game for B, but there are still it still needs to be narrowed down because the A bracket there were there were four teams that moved forward from the A bracket out of the six. Right. So four, and four, four from A and, one and, and four, four from, from B, B, so that needs to be narrowed down still. Number so. 77, Darcy Smash is jamming for South Coast and Ice Packs, number 32 for San Diego. But I'm pretty sure that the A and the B aren't playing each other at the end of the day. No, but Axles of Annihilation is in the A bracket. Right, and this is so the B bracket, so San Diego Roller Derby probably won't no. play Axles. San Diego Derby Dolls. San Diego might. Derby Dolls might. Yes, I know. <laughs> it's it all very confusing. confusing. <laughs> Here comes Ice Packs right through... Uh, Rita Ville and number one, Bloody Picka. Jammer in the box. Darcy Smash is sitting in a power jam for San Diego. Lady Diesel also going to join her in the box. It is a power jam for San Diego, but they're running with a short pack. Only two currently. One skater joins them. That makes three, but uh, still got a pack yeah. advantage to South Coast. We're definitely seeing some relatively not consistent sure penalty trouble. Not sure why she called that jam. It is not on us no. to decide why. <laughs> but she, you know, it was a power jam. She yeah. could have scored. That is true. Number seven, Wonder Whoopum, is jamming alone for San Diego. <laughs> We got a blocker in the box for San Diego, a jammer in the box for South Coast. And a nice slow pack to start. Wonder Whoopum juking and hopping her way around makes it right past Hellcat on the inside. She's your lead jammer. Pack her teammate, no crawl. Yeah, nice her teammate's crawl. got a goat slowing the pack. Mm -hmm. They've got two goats. Yeah. <laughs> Here she comes. Forcing uh, South Coast stop. Wow, that was a really handsy block. <laughs> Kelco, Kelcat takes her to the outside. She re-enters the pack at number 99. Uh, this is my time, Miles. Takes her back to the inside. Somehow, Wonder Woman, Wonder Woman goes to the box. It looks like she starts to smash. It looked like she slid back onto the track from an inside hit and realized once she stood up that she cut, and her teammate pushed her outside of the track saying, all right, you got to go to the box now. It's like, <laughs> She's it's helping. like they all knew. <laughs> She's helping. <laughs> it's nice when they help the yeah. rest. <laughs> Darcy Smash takes a nice whip from number nine, My Time Miles, and then another from number 34, Starface, right into the right. back of number six for San Diego. Whoa. Whips are great, but not when you whip them into the back of Rumble Pie. Oh. Lady Diesel takes out Darcy Smash as soon as she's re entered the pack, gets sent right back out to the box. <laughs> Whoa, that was a weird fall. Number six put a hit on Darcy Smash and took her down. She's going to go to the box as well. 
And we're starting to see another crowded box for San Diego. Still a full pack for South Coast, but oh, I almost spoke too soon. Yeah, 99 and uh, 8 for South Coast are at the front. My time, Miles takes Wonder Woman down to the outside on turn one. Just some great rotation in the front of that pack. Absolutely. South Coast has defense. Yes. They're, where where I feel like they're missing is. Uh, point scoring and keeping that defense on the track and they're really starting to make that adjustment in this half. We're seeing the change. They're starting to put points on the board. And the possibility is that they have a lot of skaters yeah. that more regularly skate with other leagues, so I don't know how much they were able to practice together. And it's right. almost as if the first half of this game was them just getting familiar with each sure. other on the track, and now they're really starting to hit their stride as a team. 5150 is jamming for uh, South Coast, and Sparkle Pants number 1904 with Nigel. Angel. Carrie Carrie just takes the outside, goes completely unnoticed. Unfortunately, Wicked Angel uh, fell at the back of the pack and, and is having trouble making her way up to the front. There's a wall of four for her of South Coast. Lots of one-on-one -on -one in the front of the pack trying to move those girls out of the way for their San Diego jammer, but Lucky Eddie is uh, taking Sparkle Pants down on turn four. Harry Carey just surrounded by a wall of gray. I saw her screaming for help from her teammates. And it's just a defensive battle in the front and back of the pack. Lucky Eddie and Pookie end up having to let Sparkle Pants go. She is not your lead jammer, but she's out of the pack. And Harry Carey is at the back of the pack, waiting for her teammates to assist. And Harry she Carey makes a run for the outside and yeah. calls off the band. Faded to the inside. Lady Diesel didn't move, so she went to the outside and didn't make it around. And we have a timeout. A rough timeout, it appears. Oh, boy. <laughs> Back, back to a 100-point game, 169 to 69. That's nice. 69. <laughs> <laughs> Where's B-Train when you meet her? Right? Six minutes and 25 seconds left in this half of the game. Yesterday, if you're just joining us today, we had a series of 12 half-hour games mm -hmm. in order to advance four teams from each bracket to today's full-length games. So right now, uh, some of these teams out here playing longer and harder consecutively than they did yesterday. And, you know, it's, uh, it's a tournament. It's a little I bit of wear and tear yeah. showing on some people, but <laughs> everyone out there seems to be really giving it their all and, and putting 100% into and these two, the these two team. teams also have the fun benefit of playing derby in the morning, which <laughs> I kind of think should be outlawed. I agree. We just, you know. <laughs> I mean, at least it was 10 a.m. It's a reasonable time. Yeah. Tournaments are hard. Yeah. Tournaments are hard. Sometimes you get the 8 a.m. slot. Yeah. I'm pretty sure. I, I think I heard. I was not there. Many friends of mine were. But I'm pretty sure at the first Dust Devil there was a 6 a.m. or a 7 a.m. slot. I was at the first Dust Devil, but I could guarantee I was not at that game. Yeah, the, there was that game. I can't remember who the legendary team was that played, but it, whoever it was, their their first team at that horrible 6 or 7 a.m. slot was Texas. Oh. <laughs> but again, going back to the legendary partier, you know, conversation we were having earlier, it's right. impressive that Texas can play, even at their level. Well, that, the but that, that was Texecutioners, Texas. Oh, that, okay, that wasn't so the XRD, Texas. They, they are like, dun, 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 yeah, they are kind it. of a they, machine. They can play 5 a.m., who yeah. cares? <laughs> <laughs> Even back in 2006. <laughs> 2006, right? Right, right. We're, we're losing track. In, it's it's in all old starting age. to blend, yeah. I've been hit to the head too many times. <laughs> 1904 is jamming for South Coast Militia Demolition. And right through with lead, untouched, is Ice Pack number 32 for San Diego. I'm going to call her Frilly Star Skirt. <laughs> it was cute yesterday because at the beginning of their game, whoa, sails oh, right through. Yeah, no problem. Number two and Kelcat didn't know she was there. 
five points for her. Um, yesterday morning, their first game, they had a two-jammer rotation, and only the jammers were wearing those fluffy black skirts with silver stars. It was super cute. That's hilarious. Yeah. Look at me. I'm the jammer. <laughs> it is a little bit of a signal. Hey, LA Riots walking by. What's up? Good morning. One seventy four sixty nine for San Diego roll, Roller Derby. Uh oh, everyone's taking everybody's a knee. Everybody's taking a knee. All right, whoever they were taking a knee for seems to be up on her own steam. Is that number eight, Kelcat? It's looking like yeah. But she's up. She's rolling. She's just down for a second. So okay, that's good. A relief. We've had great AM, EMTs this weekend. Uh, there have been two sort of, uh, not actually injuries, but two suspected injuries that they were just immediately there, ready to take care of. No, I think we're wrong. It looks like there's actually a girl over there who's being oh. checked by the EMTs for South Coast. Darcy Smash, number 77, is on the line for South Coast against number 7. Seven 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 for Wonder Whoopum for San Diego. Seventy seven for seven. Oh, it was too many. Wow, Wonder Whoopum, a uh, nice swipe from Pookie there in the front. And sent right to the box. Wow. Luckily it they was gave her a back block. It was on her path anyway, so Whoa! <laughs> Darcy Smash rides the line, does almost, not cut. She's your lead jammer. That was a great almost, move. Almost loses their balance. Taking us out with that. <laughs> Look at how I can not cut. Oh, yeah. Oh. Oh. Tripped on her own skater. Yeah. She's uh, reabsorbed at the back of the pack, but her team's holding the inside. I think she's going to do okay. There she yep. is, right out past you 1904 with the help of her teammates. You were right. South Coast defense is really coming together in this half. Um, you know, it's in roller derby, it's a great thing to be a second half team. Oh, it would yeah. be nice to see these girls progress further along if yeah. this were a longer tournament or a different tournament and, yeah. and see how it came together for them more. See if they could pull that together in a first period. Absolutely. But it's still nice to see the learning curve happen. Absolutely. In, in the course of one day. Lately, I think it's almost more exciting to watch the learning curve and the adjustments mm -hmm. over the course of a full game than, yeah. than maybe to watch, you know, teams that you know what to expect. Exactly. Whoa, Darcy Smash hits a little bit of a sandwich of got, uh, Brigham Down and number six from San Diego. I think she got Darcy Smashed. Yikes. She calls the jam. We've got 174.74. Wow, they just keep holding it to Working 100. hard to keep that solid 100. You know, when you get to this point where you know it's like three minutes left, catching up might be a little bit out of your hands. Yeah. 100 points is sort of the next goal. It's like keep it within 100. Yeah. I, well, if it were my team, I would want that 99, though. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> under 100. And currently it is under 100. It's like oh, 174 to 78. Fantastic. So. Carrie Carey, number 5150, is on the line for South Coast. She has a great little uh, jammer start there. Absolutely. And Ice Packs, number 32 for San Diego. Um, Rumble Pie immediately takes Carrie Carey to the outside and then holds her to the back of the pack. Rita Ville is back there to set her free. She slides right around the entire pack. Number six doesn't even see her. She's out. Not your lead. Oh. Ice Packs uh, just starts to make to the back of the pack to score points. Passes Starface, who takes her down. She frantically trying to call off the jam, but it took a little bit of time for that call to happen. Stupid asshole. Stupid asshole. <laughs> Finally notices he calls it off. Stupid asshole. So apologies, I've been a little bit quiet in the last couple minutes because I keep seeing LA riots walk by. <laughs> and I wasn't here yesterday, it's my team, so it's we're, my having, team. we're having a very excited greeting time happening right now. It's the 1904 versus 1904 jam. Oh, why? Some why other announcer would have some kind of clever 
shtick there. <laughs> but not, not us. <laughs> we're, better than that. We're against Clever announcing <laughs> Sparkle Pants versus Militia Demolition. That's how you know the difference. Spreckle Pants makes it right up through the front of that pack. Yeah, holds their own with right. number one, and she's out. She's her lead jammer. And there goes the other 1904. Both 1904s are out. 1904 is about a half track ahead of 1904. You follow? <laughs> Speckle oh. Pants entering the pack for points, sails through on the inside, even right past Pookie, who she drops on her way through. Meanwhile, Funny pick up, blocking her about 40 feet out of bounds. Somehow, 1904, Speckle Pants thinks that she goes to the box. I'm not sure why. I don't know what happened there. So right now, only South Coast 1904. Power Jam from Militia Demolition. I don't know what happened there. I'm not entirely sure. Ooh, Pookie kind of just sticks her butt out, but I think she was standing still, and that's a no-no. <laughs> but it looked really nice. Well, and she did take number 79 cent out of the way for her yeah. jammer. 79 cent just took herself out of the way. Do we have a floor. pack of three? I think it was Wonder uh, Whoop'em to the box. And look, I feel oh, like there's too many skaters on the track almost. Well, we also have uh, San Diego's Pivot just sort of blocking nowhere near where the pack is. We've got a 2-2 two -two pack right now yeah. spread out, taking up two-thirds of the track almost. And not to be confused with skaters wearing tutus, which is also <laughs> happening today. Rumble Pie is at the front. Here comes Militia Demolition. The jamming. That was just a very confusing jam. It me. really was, especially that four woman spread out there's, pack. It was very spread out. It looks like the score is 177 to 92. And that is our final score. Oh, that's, that's the, the game! game. <laughs> <laughs> no way. Like on top of things. <laughs> <laughs> so it looks like San Diego Roller Derby takes this game and moves on as far as I understand. I think that if, we, if we understand the, the bracket. B team championship round. Yes. Okay. Yes. Getting this. And then, if I'm not mistaken, what we're looking at next should be Rose City's Axles of Annihilation versus uh, the OC Roller Girls in the first game of the A bracket. Yes. <laughs> I believe you are correct. So thank you, Susie Snake Eyes. You're welcome. And thank you, DNN viewers, for making this possible. We need to say a very special thank you to Shiva from San Diego Derby Dolls. Yeah. To, uh, her injury is her loss and our gain. Uh, San Diego doesn't have her on the track, but we have her on the sticks here. She's shooting camera for you all day long with a cast on and crutches, Aww. making this video possible for you, the DNN viewer. So special thanks to Shiva. Give her some love. And she's a great host. I've stayed at her house before. <laughs> she loves Derby. <laughs> yes. Dance party on oh, the yeah. South Coast bench over there. Looks like everybody's having a good time. Things have been staying pretty much on track and on time here, so we'll be back in just a few minutes with more derby action with the first game of the A bracket from Battle of the Coast. Battle for the Coast. See you in a bit.
Welcome back. Hi. We're in Ventura. Still. I'm Mercy Les. I'm Susie Snegas. We're delighted to be here to bring you the very exciting game between Rose City's B Team, the Axles of Annihilation, and OC Roller Girls. Orange Crushers. Which is one of my favorite um, team names. Yeah. Super cute. Being a Southern California native as of now like everybody else who lives down here. On the line for Rose City is uh, the skater skating under the pseudonym Viagra Falls. I think that might be Wild Bella. No, I'm sorry. I'm wrong. Taylor Swiftly Taylor jamming for OC. Viagra Falls is out and lead jammer. And no time flat. <laughs> Viagra Falls meeting a little bit of resistance from the OC blockers and her teammate jumps up to help her out, help her through. As soon as Taylor Swiftly hits the pack, she calls it. And I was all like, I don't need the OC Roller Girls page of the program open. I know these girls and I can't see anything still. This is going to be a running thing all day long. <laughs> On the line, passing out hugs, the legendary oh, goody, goody two skates for Rose City. And that looks like the train for OC. for OC, although I can't really tell because she is not wearing her Sasquatches. <laughs> it's a little too warm for that in here, maybe. I'm not sure. Uh-oh. Goody's ahead and jukes left and right. Tricks brick wall. Goody's up at the front with one skater to pass. She's a little bit too far ahead, and Goody sails through untouched for lead jammer. Here comes B-Train, about a half track behind her out of the pack. Goody's at the back and ready to score. Easily passes one OC blocker in the back. Slides past Apple before Apple notices her. Brick Wall takes her to the outside, but she's back in, and she's through the pack for points. She calls the jam, just as B-Train hits the back. <laughs> we'll have a score shim for you momentarily. <laughs> Heidi Go Seek is on the line right now for Rose City's Axles of Annihilation. Is that why Bella? I think it is. If my powers of recognition are working. <laughs> Things have gotten awfully quiet. I think the Zebas are talking to each other. Mike Snake Eyes is on his first time on scoreboard, so bear with us as we... Uh... <laughs> Thank you, Mike Snake Eyes. Thank you, Mike Snake Eyes. But considering that he just learned it like two seconds ago. Go DNN. <laughs> yes. Patented. This is how we roll. Patented DNN. Good enough, Def. TM. Yes. <laughs> Going up. The jam clock going up. <laughs> <laughs> Mike Snake yeah. Eyes asking the question, why is the jam clock going up? This is the mirror universe. <laughs> yeah, this is Bizarro Derby. <laughs> you They're all going to have go Play as hard as you can and the time just counts <laughs> going up. up. <laughs> <laughs> that might be my... I ha might have had that nightmare at one point in time. <laughs> Oh, apparently it's not really a problem, Mike Snake Eyes, because the scoreboard isn't working either, the real one. You might want to let him know that it's not all him. <laughs> Mike says he pushed one button and he felt like he shut everything down. The next one is going to make the computer explode. <laughs> You should never let the Snake Eyes do things here <laughs> with DNN. It's our first and last day <laughs> with DNN. I think not. <laughs> Worse has happened. <laughs> <laughs> this is just your hazing ritual. <laughs> oh God, you guys are mean. <laughs> not cool, guys. Not cool. Hurt Reynolds jogging around the track. <laughs> <laughs> the race to the finish. 
Well, if we can't have a scoreboard, nobody can have a scoreboard. Then right. the rules. That's right. The venue can't have one. Yeah. You, the DNN viewer, can't have yeah. one. I like to think it's the other way around. I like to think that we ruined it for everybody else. <laughs> <laughs> and no razor sled. It's time for more talking and less derby. <laughs> <laughs> Haven't you seen? Don't you know what we're doing here today? We here at DNN love talking. Yes, that's really our thing. We enjoy talking more when it's talking about, about skaters and not derby. about zebras talking. Yes. So I think some roller derby is about to happen right now. Hey, to go seek a little bit of head off the line. Wild Bella right behind her. And, and Dirty Dipper Harry takes Heidi go seek right out on the turn. Wild Bella she jumps around Dirty Dipper Harry on the inside. Well, Bell is your lead jammer. Heidi go seek about third of a track behind her. Lots of one on one going on in the pack right now between Rose City and OC. Soul Train's in the back just waiting for Wild Bella. Number 57, OC, who smartly takes Soul Train to the outside just in time for her jammer to advance. I think OC was paying attention yesterday and they know who's a threat in the pack. Oh, Mike Snake Eyes is just being mean right now. <laughs> <He's> like, <laughs> oh, he is discovering his newfound power. <laughs> do not love. He will be dizzy with this power within Don't two minutes. Do it. There's so much good ass to look at on the jammer line. Don't yeah. do that. Don't look at us. Viagra Falls, number 24 7, lining up for Rose City. Number two. That'd be Ice Cube. Ice Cube for OC. And Viagra Falls Somehow heads right to the box. Goody and Viagra Falls right off the line pretty much. Right to the yeah, box. Doing a buddy OC. system thing. For the power jam OC. Ice Cube uh, fighting your way through. Somehow a, a twat rocket and someone else sandwich. Propels her forward. I'm completely Viagra. confused. Viagra, Viagra taking missed, a lap. She missed the box, I think. I think she like crashed into some chairs beyond the box and had to take and another lap. And they made her take another lap. Yeah. But now she's released as uh, Ice Cube. Ice Cube, Ice Cube Ice joins her. The box, so she is sprung. Now it's a power jam for Rose City. Brick wall holding the front of the pack. There's a three wall of Orange City that uh, Viagra Falls, oh, four wall now as Ice Pack sails past Viagra Falls. It's actually Ice Cube. Ice Cube. Sorry. Too many ice skaters. <laughs> Too many ice skaters today. Still our San brains Diego. are on the last game. San Diego has Ice Pack. <laughs> Viagra Falls still being held up at the front by OC. But not and, for long. Uh, she gets an assist from her teammate. Number 810, who's not on our roster. I'm sorry, number 810. You get no recognition. No recognition for you. <laughs> By name. And a strong wall in the front holding Ice Cube back. I think that's domesticated violence at the front up there with... Uh, Wow, Goody's back in and, and right making up to the front. short work of brick wall as fast as she can. Ready to help Viagra Falls through. And that jam's over. That was a really physical pack. That really was. <laughs> jammers to the box, jammers out of the box. 810 is boxcar Bessie. Thank you very much, Dean and viewers. We'll try to remember that. <laughs> I know. Can we copy that to the list somehow? Yeah. Boxcar, Bethy 8. Shove Me Tender, number 51, on the line for Rose City, Axles of Annihilation. And is that Taylor Swifty for OC? For OC. Ooh, we can see the scoreboard now. Score stands at 12 for Rose City, 3 for OC Roller Girls. Busta Armoff giving us a backup scoreboard in case an original scoreboard goes away. We have a lot of scoreboards up here. That's cool. Yeah. We can see scores. You know Under 25 scores. minutes left in this period, the first half of Axles of Annihilation versus the Orange Crushers. This is the first game of the A bracket 
of today's Battle for the Coast tournament. And this will determine who will go on to the championships, at least one of the teams who will go on yes. to the A-team championships. championships. Have you seen the trophies? I have not. They are these amazing paddles, like boat oars, that have like really gorgeous painted logo, Battle oh, for the Coast kind of thing on the, on the, the end coast. of the oar. Yeah. I get it. They're super gorgeous. That's, I, I would nice. covet a trophy like that for sure. Yeah. But only two teams will take them. Stop that. Mike Snake Eyes, damn you. What is he doing? Oh, <laughs> jerk. <laughs> Nobody needs to see that. Yeah. Let's look at us not looking at a camera. <laughs> Taylor Swiftly was advancing well through the pack but got taken out to the outside just as Shut Me Tender becomes lead jammer. <laughs> Soul Train is up at the front of the pack, so Taylor Swiftly's got her work cut out for her. She somehow makes it just past Soul Train. Has, yeah, Soul Train takes a dive. Soul Train Taylor is one Swiftly of the box. Stays up. And that jam is over. B Train heads to the line for Orange County. And twat rocket number 3,500 for <laughs> <Sorry>. <laughs> Axel's That's my first exposure to her. <laughs> Taekwon Ho kept calling her twat pocket yesterday. Twat pocket. <laughs> did she do that too? I'm yes. sure she did. She totally did. <laughs> I'm sad. Where is Taekwon Ho today? I, I miss her. I think her. she had to go do fancy San Francisco things today. Same. We miss her already. We do. We miss her even more. I bet you do. Yeah. Bay Area. So Our trash can miss her the most. <laughs> B Train advances quickly to the front. She's got, uh, I think, domesticated violence and was that Boxcar Bethy? Was that her name, please? I think so. Yeah, that sounds right. I think. Nice two all at the front. Um, number eleven for Rose City joins them, and and now there's a three wall just recycling. B Train loose on quite a bit over twenty feet there. And she's really jammer. Twat Rocket at the front. Uh, her teammate was bridging for a minute there, but 311, another uh, OC girl, have to let her go. And B Train calls off the jam. Picking up another few points for Orange County. We now have a score of 13 to 6 in favor of Rose City with 21 minutes and 40 seconds, give or take. Left Six in the point game. Time. Is it seven point game? Seven point game. Math is hard. It's really hard. I hate math. And we've got Wild Bella on the jammer line for Orange County. And Viagra Falls, number 24-7 for Axles of the Mile. I feel like we're starting to get a stride here. <gasps> this is exciting. Does that mean we're waking up? <laughs> it might be. I think it means the beer is kicking in. <laughs> for me, it's the caffeine, but, you know. I don't drink caffeine. I drink beer. Viagra Falls is uh, taking a little bit of a beating on the inside there, thanks to number 30 on OC. And Somehow that sends her to the box. I sincerely do not see what happened there. I, I'm getting the feeling that um, being Viagra Falls is illegal today. Uh, apparently. But not Wild Bella. She is on her own. She's not Lee Jammer. We have a very short pack for Orange County. Recky Ball is just one of two blockers for Orange County against a full pack for Axel's of Annihilation. So while Bella does have her work cut out for her, she only has one blocker to get past but currently. But it's Soul Train. But it's Soul Train. And oh, and there comes number 97, Butcher Block, to take her down. That was a lovely hammer and nail, somehow yeah. sending Butcher Block to the box. But somehow I think she thinks it was worth it because <laughs> while Bella back in the back of the pack again. And here comes Brickwall rejoining OC. Let's see if she can do some damage for Wild Bella. She's in there trying to help out Wild Bella. And Viagra sprung from the box and back through the pack, and they didn't even see her. Number 16 for Rose takes Wild Bella to the inside and forces her to the back of the pack. 
And Brickwall, almost as soon as she was released, is... I've, never what mind. On our, oh, oh, poor Derby Matic 2. The switch to the new system is really a problem. <laughs> <laughs> Steely Jan is playing for Rose oh, City, apparently. Wow. <laughs> I was trying to figure out who number 16 is for Rose. <laughs> Help me out, <laughs> CNN viewers, because Derby Matic's got a few In fact, uh, kinks to Rose City, Axles of Annihilation, is populated entirely with San Diego Derby Doll skaters. And me. OC is populated entirely with Rose City. <laughs> this is so weird. The Derby Matic 2 migration is a really, really intricate project. It's got some bugs that need to be worked out. Bear with them, please. But, you know... Here's a little peek at the, uh, you know, behind the curtain, yeah. the, the matrix that runs all of the data that you count on, you know, it's, from Derby Matic. It's less Matic and more Derby. Yeah. There's a lot of Derby there. <laughs> but the Matic, we're having a problem with. Right. So number 16 was Firecrotch. Sorry about that, Firecrotch. How do you go seek? We're going back to our paper program. On the line for Rose City. And not OC. <laughs> no Although, wouldn't that be fun? <laughs> it might be fun for OC. Right? <laughs> right now, the score stands at Rose City 18, OCRG 10. Less than 20 minutes to play in this first half. How you doing, Mike the Scoreboard Guy? Thumbs up from Mike the Scoreboard Guy. He's starting <laughs> to figure things out. I think that um, he can't hear us, so I'm going to tell you that you could reach over there quietly while he's not paying attention and turn that camera on him. How do I do it? The tripod's right there. It's staring you in the oh, face. Please. Just turn the camera. Turn it. Turn it. Turn it. There's Mike Snake Eyes, everybody. And the <laughs> beautiful, talented, dedicated, wonderful Shiva who is making all this video possible for you this weekend on oh, her look crutches at him and cast. Taking advantage of his power all of a sudden. <laughs> He's like, oh yeah. Switch. We love you, Shiva. Thank you, Mike Snake Eyes. <laughs> he thought he was just going to watch some roller derby today. <laughs> 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 So I believe we have Ice Cube jamming for OC. And Heidi goes seek for Rose, just tearing up the in or the outside. Scoots right past every OC blocker. She's your lead jammer. That was a nice burst of speed. Ice Cube hit to the inside, forces her to go to the very back of the pack. It's Twat Rocket taking her on on the inside. <laughs> there Every time. goes Heidi Go Seek for five points an easy sail through the outside again the, uh, the one on one delivered by her blockers kept all the OC girls occupied as she sailed through it looks like the same thing's about to happen on the inside if they're not careful nope here she I goes on the you. outside again OC's like trying to make it up to the front to stop her at this point Ice Cube sent to the box it looked like it. she might have cut Dirty Deborah Harry, uh, right there in front of Heidi Go Seek, and she says, Never mind, and calls it off. Soul Train on the jam line. I love watching Soul Train jam. And Rose City extends their lead to 27 10, with just under 18 minutes left in the first half of the game. This is going to be a power jam for the Axles of Annihilation, the Orange Crushers jam. We're sitting the box. And here goes Soul Train. OC trying to race this pack right now. Firecrotch is uh, helping Soul Train through. This two woman wall at the front there, and Apple's racing up to the front trying to get herself in position ahead of Soul Train. We've got D Cup runneth over and Kino Hine and Miss Vicious Appalicious holding strong at the front of the pack and really keeping that speed up. However, Soul Train can hang. Speed is not a problem. She slips through on the inside and she's out. She's your lead jammer. And Axles of Annihilation have Miss Vicious Appalicious as a goat, forcing OC to control their speed. She slipped out and free. Oh, wow. So Brickwall and, uh, is that Wild Bella? Joining the pack, rejoining the pack yes. in the box. Or uh, I believe that's actually Ice Cube. Brickwall waits for Soul Train, takes her to the inside right into uh, Ice Cube in the back of the pack. Soul Train makes her way all the way up at the front. 
They've, uh, they're so worried about Soul Train at the front that her teammates have entirely neglected her in the back, but Firecrash turns her head for a minute, and Ice Cube is right through on the inside. Past Soul Train. Soul Train still Soul Train being held by D-Cop runneth over. Nice work in the front of the pack by OC. Hey, Honey Hellfire. Last night it seemed like they were uh, saving twat for later. They might be doing that again. Number 24-7, Viagra Falls, is on the line for Axel of Annihilation. And I believe that is Taylor Swiftly for OC. Score of 32-10 currently with just under 15 and a half minutes left in the first half. Here comes Viagra Falls, easily on the inside with the help of domesticated violence. Soul Train's up at the front with her, taking out Taylor Swiftly on turn two. Soul Train takes her outside again. It looks like OC strategy right now is to wall Soul it up. Soul Train in the takes pack. her outside again. <laughs> Soul Train holds her to the back of the pack. And OC's wall in the back didn't quite hold Viagra. She's through for five. And now the wall situation seems to have changed a little bit. Goody's up at the front now with Soul Train. Somebody got a major cut. There goes Goody to the box. Soul Train still sitting right on Taylor Swiftly, taking her repeatedly to the outside, to the outside, to the outside. Here Looks comes like Viagra Falls, moving her teammates out of the way to come up through the inside. Unfortunately, Dirty Deborah Harry catches that move, and she's on the inside line now, too. Dirty Deborah and Kino Wahini walling up with a little help from Hel Toro in the back of the pack, holding Viagra back. Butcher Block's at the back trying to help out her teammate, but she's got quite a wall of three to contend with from OC. Oh my god, we can hear Tara Armoff on our microphones. And, and I like, heard just the right part of the conversation. Yeah. I'm awesome, I'm and, awesome everything, and everything. I'm awesome everything. I'm Tara Armoff, and I'm awesome at everything. <laughs> that was the perfect. That's the power of her voice. She's, Sound what, bite. like 10 feet away from us? <laughs> but that's just how she rolls. Heidi Go Seek is on the line for the Axles of Annihilation. And B Train. <laughs> Doing a Dancing band. on the line, which means. Axles have mean? effectively scared the shit out of her. <laughs> <laughs> is that when the dance comes into play? Yes, this is. She has been reporting yeah. even live on air this morning. She <laughs> dances out of fear to still the nerves. There she is, doing her best to get around Twat Rocket, juking right and left, just not making it around. Brick Wall is in the back, just handling Heidi Go Seek. Nobody's back there to help her. B Train generally has an amazing juke and jive to get around people. It's just Axles of Annihilation's walls yeah, are their, incredible. Their positional blocking is going to prevent that almost every time. Firecrotch is up at the front. Twat Rocket was helping her out, but ends up taking a knee for a second there. B Train just has one more blocker to get past, Firecrotch, however. <laughs> Firecrotch was making a one woman wall holding B Train back. B Train's teammate tried to get in and help her, but. Mini Juice came in there and just cleaned her out to of, the outside. Out of freaking nowhere. Yeah. Back in the pack, and here she is taking out the jammer. Heidi Go Seek still not through the front right now. 311 from OC racing Heidi to try and put a hit in on her, but she's free. Not lead. B Train recycled to the back again. Uh, pack advantage right now looks like 4 three to OC, so she's got quite a bit of help in there, but still, we've got a, a fire crotch and boxcar Bethy wall at the front that just seems impenetrable for her. And OC really focusing on defense right now. Oh, unfortunately, Twat Rocket takes a fall at the hands of OC and takes down Jammer Heidi Gosek with her. Beach Queen is finally free. out. Makes it heart. past Firecrotch and Boxcar Bethy. And here comes Heidi Go Seek. And OC Skater just throws her body at her. Sort of misses timing-wise. I think that was number 12 for OC. I, it looked as if we were maybe about to see a panty pass, but... Whoa. I, 
she was. It, it looked like she was taking off her panty, but the whistle hadn't blown yet, and she was near she's her pivot. She's just tired jamming. <laughs> and she's like, I'm done. I'm, I'm done. throwing this thing to the ground. It's over. You all figure it out. <laughs> Why do I have to do the work here? <laughs> you be the moving target. Yeah. Yeah. See how it feels for once. And it looks as though we have a timeout. Tea time for referees. Yes. And beer time for me. <laughs> Oh, cheers! Cheers! Cheers, I say, guys. Super cute. <laughs> it, I, I, Mike found a place to keep his beer far, far away from the equipment because he was really, really nervous. <laughs> he put his beer far at the edge of the table. So smart. Yes. I'm, you know I'm the one more likely to spill. I'm going to destroy everything here today. Mm, just, just keep drinking. Just, uh, yeah, get rid of it. The more you drink, the, the less there is to spill. It's true. <laughs> <laughs> Something went smash. Yeah. Oh, do we? I, you know, I, I'm not sad that suddenly we can't hear the house announcers. Yeah. That, that volume's been a little Headphones, overly modulated all weekend. Continue to muffle. <laughs> it's awesome. I'm super stoked because <laughs> Apple's on the line for yeah. OC right now. By herself. Um, so I guess the, the referee chit chat had something to do with the fact that right now Heidi Go Seek is in the box for Axis of Annihilation joining Goody. Um, that's going to create a 4-3 pack advantage to OC on this power jam. And there goes Apple, Apple just cruising through the pack, taking advantage of domesticated violence, looking the wrong way. She's out with lead jammer. When she jams. She has so much power. I love it. I, I love a solid pair of agile hips that can just move everyone out of their own path. Speaking of someone who has been... Launched. Very much launched in the air. Oh, beautiful, oh. beautiful uh, axle there. Yeah. Just spun right out of that hit. She takes the hit and just keeps on spinning. She's stuck behind Goody right now. But she's out. They have to let her go. Apple's through for five. That was beautiful. OC doing their best to control the pack speed. The pack speed. <laughs> As Apple just barrels oh! through. Jukes past Apple's domesticated violence. That was incredible. Amazing juke by Apple. She didn't have to clear her own path. It's just the agility. I just got to say, I'm so happy to see her skating again. I, I haven't seen her skating in a while. I'm not sure why she was out, but it's so good to see and her And I've back. heard that about ten times this weekend. Yeah. She's got so many fans. This is my first time getting to see her skate, so it's been really exciting. I have a healthy Definitely respect. Definitely somebody to watch. I have a healthy respect for her. I don't like going up against her. I believe it. At all. <laughs> but I have a very healthy respect for Miss Vicious. Totally operation. believe that. And score currently 47 to 20. And <laughs> Hurt is tired of the crazy sounds coming from... Hurt Reynolds goes jogging. I think he's going to fix the audio problem. Hooray! we got nine and a half minutes left in this half of the game. 47-20 in favor of Rose City. Heidi goes seek release from the box as soon as the jam started. She's up in the back of the pack, but uh, so is Held Toro and Brick Wall and... Good luck to her back there. Ice Cube is out of the pack and is lead jammer. Boxcar Bethy's in the back trying to help her jammer, and uh, Firecrotch joins her. There's Soul Train in the back with her, too. Her whole team is back there trying to help her get through Brick Wall, literally. Did I just see a panty pass? Or am I just Toro imagining that that's going to happen Bethy. all day today? Soul Train takes the panty and she's yeah. through. She is not lead and Ice Cube is your lead jammer about and 10 feet behind her. And calls it off. All the excitement of a panty pass and <laughs> Ice Cube says, no, thank you. <laughs> I'm here to steal your thunder. It was fun while it lasted. Yeah, it was. And I'm, I'm glad to see it successfully Four seconds. happened. Uh-oh. I agree with Razor. I also like to pass panties. <laughs> Viagra Falls is on the line for Axles of Annihilation. Looks like Taylor Swiftly for OC. Goody's standing in the box. She's back on the track, ready to join her pack. Whoa, Viagra Falls takes a trip at the feet of Dirty Deborah Harry. She's back up and racing to the back of the pack. Taylor Swiftly, I 
almost snuck through on the inside, but apparently she snuck through a little too much on the inside. Here comes Viagra Falls. Dirty Deborah Harry takes a swipe at her again and takes her down. She's back to the back of the pack. OC building a small wall in the back. 311 and Dirty Deborah Harry, but 311 lets Viagra Falls through. Kino Ahini takes her to the outside this time. Here she comes up at the front, slips around 311, and she's out but not lead. In the meantime, this is a power jam now for Viagra Falls. Absolutely. Yeah. Oh, see at the front trying to speed up the pack. I'm not sure that this is your best strategy where Rose City is concerned. They've got quite a bit of speed and endurance of their own, and this is just not going to tire them out or necessarily give OC. And all advantage. they needed was one, and all they got was one. There's Viagra Falls sailing through on the uh, goat of 311. Mia Roller goaded, and the pack comes to a stop. And there is Viagra Falls through again with five. Just as the OC Jammer Taylor Swiftly rejoins the pack. Unfortunately, only uh, two blockers in the pack for OC. It's Kino Wahini and Mino, Mia Roller. Swat Rocket and Domesticated Violence got a little bit too far ahead of the pack, though. The pack got spread out and they had to let her go. Uh, Viagra needs to pay attention now because here she comes for points. She's calling it. She called it, but it, I think it didn't get We're called. here at a tournament. We're here with different yeah. referee crews than maybe some people are used to. Um, you've got to call it fast here because they're not always catching it. There's you sometimes a three or four second delay, and so she got past. I could see at least and she got past two or three blockers. Absolutely, and, and at a tournament strategy, not only do you want to call it fast, you want to call it big. Yeah. You want to be really noticeable. When Even you're if you're really, it. really big, they're yeah. not always catching yeah. it right away. So call it early. Yeah. Call it big. Yeah. B train. Looks like she's jamming alone. That's what it looks like. Well, power jam OC with B train on the line. I agree. That's what it looks like. Viagra Falls in the box for Rose, joined by Twat Rocket. Rose City currently has a relatively comfortable lead, 28 to, or 60 to 28, just under six minutes left in the first half. It's not an unsurmountable lead, just a little bit comfy. Yeah. I said it's not an unsurmountable. Did it be oh my god, he's correcting my grammar. <laughs> <laughs> How dare you? The word is insurmountable. How dare you, sir? Correcting Here comes B Train, makes it right around on the outside. Firecrotch is uh, holding her back at the front. Has to let her go on 20 feet. I'm not sure that was exactly Can you 20 switch feet, the camera though. And show the game. <laughs> sure. B train racing around the track. 4 3 pack advantage to OC right now. Perfect for their power jam. Well, B train runs right in the back of an Axel's and Annihilation blocker. Just two in the front holding her back, and she is free. Four po she took four points. She's your lead jammer. And Heidi Gosik is going back to the box just as Twat Rocket and Viagra Falls are re-entering in the back. B-Train calls off the jam. Smart moves. Soul Train number nine is on the line for Rose City Axel of Annihilation. And we got Miss Vicious Appalicious back for OC. This is a really exciting jam. I can't wait to She's got a good this. foot on her, on, on her competition. <laughs> <laughs> I got to tell you, though, I mean, both of these girls are agile, hit hard. Yes. I predict a fun jam this we're is about to be see. amazing. So excited. Soul Train hits the pack. Smarty Pants Apple is right behind her, taking advantage of the holes that she's making for herself. Soul Train's out with lead jammer, and Apple's recycled to the back of the pack. Apple trying to dig in and get around, and that she does. Domesticated Violence at the front, not quite holding it on her own, and Apple slips around her. Soul Train's in for points. 
Here she comes, right behind her, uh, Hell Toro. And Soul Train squeezes through and calls off the jam before Apple can come in and score. Fast and smart. Score is 64 to 37. Rose City still in the lead. The lead they've been holding this entire game thus far with uh, just over three minutes left in the first half. Trot Rocket is on the line for Axles of Annihilation. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> Every day. <laughs> Jokes don't get old for me, by No, the way. no, Never. me either. I'm a total simpleton. Yeah. I will last for two more weeks. <laughs> it's Ice Cube number two for OC. Looks like we've got a 4-2 a pack advantage right now for OC. This is OC's pack. Um, yeah, Dirty Dipper Harry. However, it's Soul Train at the front for Rose City with Doing what Fire she does. Crash. Here comes Heidi Go Seek in to take out some of the OC. Soul Train lockers. falls down and Ice Cube takes advantage and she is your lead jammer. She's all of our lead jammers. Here comes Heidi Go Seek making holes for Twat Rocket. Unfortunately, she trips a little bit on Heidi on her way through the inside. Soul Train's back up at the front with Fire Crotch trying to make a hole. Twat Rocket forced to the back. She's got Dirty Dipper Harry to pass at the front right now. Her team is holding back the rest of OC. And here she comes. Twat She's Rocket out. out. Ice Cube trying to sneak around on the inside. And the jam in. I know she picked up some points there. Shove Me Tender, number 51, is lining up for Rose City. OC running a, a really tight rotation of jammers. Yeah, I'm, I'm used to seeing people like Kino Wahimi on the jam line, and we haven't seen that at all today. We've got uh, Taylor Swiftly on the line for OC. So OC is running basically a three to four jammer rotation with few exceptions. I don't think it's too unusual though when you know that you're facing fierce competition you want to you know you, you know who's solid for you you know who you can rely on Taylor Swiftly makes it almost yeah. completely out of the pack until she meets domesticated violence at the front and gets called out on the cut and call. power jam for Rose City Shook Me Tender is out not your lead jammer Brick wall being sent to the box as well. This will so help Rose City. We've got Kino Wahini and Recky Balls alone in the pack for OC. Recky Balls is pulling way more than 20 feet at uh, this point. Yeah. And it's it's a penalty box of Palooza. Yeah, I, I think just boxcar Bethy looks like she's going to the box for Rose City. Uh, somebody, there's a, there's a full OC box. One blocker is standing, about to re-enter. Here she comes. OC doing a good job of jumping up front and trying to create a three wall. They've got it now in front of the uh, Rose City pack. Viagra Falls is in there. Domesticated Violence is in there trying to break up that front wall. And another Rose oh, City skater. Twat rocket, rocket on four minors to the box. Shove me tender. Still trying to get past that front OC wall. Just as Taylor swiftly slips by her on the outside. She is also not lead jammer. This goes the full two minutes. OC trying to hold the speed in the front. They now have a full pack. Number 51, Shove me tender. Uh, waits in the back for some jammer on jammer action on Taylor swiftly and, and takes her to the outside. It was an OC four on two by the end of that jam. Score currently 69 to 39, Rose City. And that is the half. The half. This is I love how we just game. We never know. I know. We don't start and end around here. <laughs> it's a 30, and it, well, 74 to 39. Right. Exactly. So this is the first half of the first game of the A bracket. 
We have another half coming up after this break. Um, this will determine one team that moves on to the final in the A bracket in today's Battle for the Coast Tournament in lovely, sunny, warm, and Ventura County, California. And the other two teams playing for a spot will be the San Diego Derby Dolls Wildfires and the LA Derby Dolls Riot. So it'll be a sister league battle. Which, this continues to happen at tournaments. Over and, I think it's, and over. <laughs> it's really exciting for our viewers, though. People love of that that matchup. Stop what it! What are you asking me, my guys? I can't. Did you just want us to know that we were on camera, jerk? <laughs> I'm gonna kill him by the end of this day. We're gonna take a break. We'll be back. Right, bye.
on? We're on. That line? That Which line. line do I push it to? <laughs> that line. The now one I'm that... doing like technical stuff. You're so fancy. And I've still already not been spearing, still not spilling beer on the console. I'm not spilling beer on the console. I may be using terrible grammar. Everyone. Can anybody out there in DNN land explain why the Axel's bench coach where bench coach wears the Mickey Mouse hands? Someone tell me, please. They're hilarious. Is it supposed to be like a play on like military gloves, like the white gloves? I don't know. Military uniform, he, except they're they, just they giant. Make, they make him have three fingers and a thumb, and and when he claps, you can definitely see it. Turn that camera away, Susie, please. Look, Dahmer's right there. Put the camera on Dahmer. She's worth looking at. She's running away. <laughs> B-Train is on the line for OC in uh, and, and raising her arm boners, I think. Oh, no, Yay. she's not on the line. She's cougaring. Oh, she's cougaring with arm boners. B-Train cougaring with her arm boners. <laughs> And uh, Twat Rocket yeah! on the line for Axel. <laughs> we just had an arm boner acknowledgement <laughs> from all the way over there. And now she's dancing because she's nervous. <laughs> it's Taylor Swiftly on the line looking at B-Train like, what? <laughs> B-Train's still rocking the arm boners. And, she and we're off. No! Her to the box. <laughs> Let's watch Roller Derby. Oh, I'm that. still obsessed with B-Train. Oh, Taylor Swiftly takes a hard hit to the outside. Twat Rocket right behind a wall of Dirty Deborah Harry and two other OC skaters. Clear through on the inside, thanks to Soul Train. And Taylor Swiftly right behind her. Twat Rocket is your lead jammer. Twat Rocket. And Twat Rocket trying to call it quickly, but it took a second to be seen. Viagra Falls now lining up for Rose City Axles of Annihilation. I am now obsessed with the Mickey Mouse hands. I didn't even I see know. them before. I noticed them last night. I was like, why? Why? I don't understand. I guess if you have to signal something to your team, you're going to be seen yeah, well, a lot easier if you have giant Mickey Mouse hands with <laughs> the correct finger numbers. <laughs> 76 for Rose City to 44 OC with just over 28 minutes in this half. Wild Bella holding Viagra Falls as uh, Brick Wall takes a swipe at her. Oh. Whoa, Viagra Falls Viagra. taken out. Not taken out, took she, herself she out. She took herself out of a penalty, penalty chair. She kind of mis misjudged the distance between her butt and the chair. And I feel terrible for laughing. She hits the penalty box with enthusiasm yeah. repeatedly. She's ready to take her seat. And B-Train is back in the pack, so OC has a full pack at this point in time. Ice Cube sailing through the front there. She's your lead jammer. Rose City looking to take control of the front of the pack. The best of those already. There's B-Train taking Goody to the outside. Goody's trying to get up and around Brick Wall so she can help hold the OC Jammer at the front of the pack. But Domesticated Violence and Boxcar Bethy seem to be doing a good enough job of that on their own. And Goody's sent to the box. Shove Me Tender joins them up at the front. And takes a hit on uh, Ice Cube in the back. And Ice Cube finally sprung from the pack. Viagra falls back in, passes some OC blockers. The jam gets called off. And we have Miss Vicious Appalicious on the jammer line. Nope. No. Just kidding. She, it's her turn She's to cougar. She's cougar. They're all taking turns. <laughs> Soul Train on the line for Rose City. Axles of Annihilation. It's the best way to cougar, you know. Take turns. It looks like B-Train is joining her for OC. So B-Train's really jamming this time. I had a total geek moment in the bathroom on the break. I saw Soul Train. I was like, you're my favorite. <laughs> And there she goes. And that will demonstrate why. She just looked right around the entire pack, 
sailed past B Train. She is out with lead. B Train right behind her, less than five feet. B Train just staying right behind her. Which is smart. Yeah. Soul Train it's can make her own holes and B Train B -train follow right through. Behind. Sometimes it pays to draft. I am really confused. I thought I saw Soul Train call it. I thought the jam got called. Everyone kept going. Not entirely sure what happened there. Yeah, me neither. We've got Viagra Falls on the line all by herself. Power jam for Rose City. But, oh, Although, confusion. Because there's no one in the box. Just kidding. Just well, kidding. Bella. <laughs> Don't listen to me. Whatever I say is wrong. Not true. Not <laughs> And probably <laughs> grammatically incorrect. Uh, I'd like to see all of you sit up in here right. first thing in the morning with a beer and be completely and be 